November is Epilepsy Awareness Month, and before this month ends, we want to talk about the disorder that affects many people. One name in entertainment dealing with epilepsy and seizures is Lil Wayne. Joining us this morning is neurologist Dr. Erica Schuyler from Hartford Hospital. Thank you so much for joining us this Thank morning. Thank you for having me. Can we start with the basics? What is epilepsy? Sure. Well, epilepsy is a condition where a person's brain is prone to having seizures. Okay. Um, a seizure is an event where somebody has symptoms from an abnormal electrical discharge in the brain. And if somebody has epilepsy, that means that their brain is prone to having that repeated times. Okay, and is that the only symptom that you look out for when you're talking about epilepsy? Yes, so seizures can present in many ways. Sometimes somebody will suddenly lose consciousness and have a convulsion. Okay. In other cases, a seizure can be a brief staring spell where somebody loses attention for a few seconds. Interesting. And seizures can cause different symptoms related to the part of the brain that's affected um, with having the seizure. Who is, I, I don't want to say at risk, but yes, at risk for epilepsy? And is this something that you are born with? Is it something that develops that you can get at any right. time? Well, epilepsy is much more common than most people think. There are actually 3 million people in the United States who have epilepsy and 60,000 in Connecticut alone. Wow. Um, and it's very common. It's most common to develop in childhood or the early ages. Okay. And in that case, it's due more to the way the brain develops when it's first developing or due to genetic factors. Okay. So in those cases, the seizures develop at a younger age. There's also a peak in the older ages, and that's due more from something that could damage the brain that results in having epilepsy. For example, a traumatic brain injury, a stroke, a brain tumor, something that harms the brain and leaves it at risk for having abnormal activity. Okay. Now, if someone, I, I can just imagine that parents, the first time their child has a, has a seizure, would be completely alarmed, scared out of their minds. What do they do when that first seizure happens? Well, the type of specialist that deals with seizures is called a neurologist. And neurologists do several tests to try to determine if the seizure is a one-time occurrence, which oftentimes it is, okay. or if somebody has a predisposition towards having more seizures or a diagnosis of epilepsy. And there are some tests that we do. One is looking at the electrical activity, um, which is called an EEG. Okay. Um, there's also brain imaging with an MRI, different kinds of tests that we can do to look for the cause of the seizure and how likely it is to happen again. Now let's say someone is diagnosed with epilepsy. What treatments are available for those people? So the majority of people who have epilepsy, um, they're able to get their seizures under control with medications. About two-thirds of them get their seizures under control with medications alone. Um, for the patients that don't, the one-third of them that don't, there are other options, things like surgery, medical devices. Um, there are several options. What about diet? I feel like I read something about your diet as well. Right, so there's something called the ketogenic diet, which has been shown to be very effective in many children with epilepsy, mm -hmm. and some adults as well. What does Hartford Hospital have when it comes to epilepsy and treatment options? Sure, so at Hartford Hospital we have an epilepsy center. We have several neurologists who specialize just in treating seizures and epilepsy. Um, we also have a unit in our hospital called the Epilepsy Monitoring Unit where right. we can admit patients, record their brain activity, and try to record their seizures while they're in the hospital to get more information about them and to decide what types of treatment they may be a candidate for. So that's the best bet is just, you know, talk to your doctor if this is something that's ongoing. Absolutely, yeah. All right, Dr. Schuyler, thank you so much for being here. Thank we you. really appreciate it. Thanks for having me. All right, coming